If you do need an mp3 file to work with for this video, I recommend heading to the YouTube audio library, and then you can search and download a song of your choosing. So after you find an mp3 file, you can use a WAV file too. Just drag and drop it to your folder containing your index.html file, and then we can head to VS Code. Now to add audio to our web page, we need an audio element. So within angle brackets, audio, and list the source equal to the name of your mp3 or WAV file. We're going to need some controls. So this is a Boolean attribute. We don't need to set this equal to anything. It's either true or false. And to set it equal to true, you just type the name of the attribute. So within the audio element, type controls. And up top here, we have our controls for our mp3 file. With these controls, we can play some audio file of our choosing. We can fast forward. And we can mute. Here's a couple other Boolean attributes. We can have our audio autoplay by using the autoplay Boolean attribute. If you would like this to be muted originally, type muted. So this is playing, but you can't hear it because it's muted. If you need this to loop, just type loop. Yep, and it's looping. You can have backup audio files just in case your web browser doesn't support a given format. So if you would like some backup audio files, we're going to change this around a little bit. So let's get rid of our source and we'll create an audio closing tag. And we will create multiple nested source elements. Type source, source equals the name of one audio file you would like to use primarily. If you have a backup, let's say we have the same song as a WAV file, you can do that too. If for some reason the browser you're using doesn't support these first two audio files, you can always display a message. This browser does not support HTML5 audio. So yeah, everybody, that's how to add audio to a web page. You just have to use this audio element and set the source equal to an audio file of your choosing. And there's a bunch of Boolean attributes that you can add to if you would like some controls, if you need to set this to autoplay, if you need it muted, and if you need it to loop. So yeah, that's how to add audio to a web page. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.